Hey everyone, Dylan with On1 here, and in this video, I want to show you how you can fix and enhance any photo simply by just using your local adjustment layers. I'm going to show you how I took this photo here and creatively enhanced it all by using local adjustment layers. So to get started here, I have this shot, and this is a light trail from someone holding a lantern. So I basically just set my tripod over here and put the shutter for a 30 second exposure, and the Railroad worker just walked by and created this nice little light trail for me. But this area on the top and this area over here is pretty bright, so I kind of want to tone down most of this area around the light trail, just so we have, you know, this light trail as our subject and we can kind of subdue these other areas around, you know, our subject here. So to achieve that, we're going to use local adjustments. And local adjustments are basically a tool that you can use to add selective edits to specific areas on your photo. So say you wanted to tone down a particular part of your photo, but you didn't want to darken the entire shot, you could do that using local adjustments. To add a local adjustment layer, simply be inside of develop or effects, and you'll have your local adjustments tab right here. Click on it, it will add a local adjustment layer automatically for you. And the default is going to be the darken, as you can tell by the negative one on the exposure. But as you can tell, nothing is happening to the shot and that's because the mask is being concealed. But since we wanna set the overall tonality for our shot, we can go in here and we can invert the mask. And now we can start setting the tonality for our photo. So I'm just gonna pull up in the exposure a little bit from the darken setting and then I'll pull back on the contrast a little bit and then let's maybe boost the highlights a tad and pull back on the shadows. And one thing I really wanna do here is I'm gonna pull back on my temperature slider to cool the photo down and that's gonna sort of bring back this nice blue tint to the light trail. So if I pull back on the temperature slider here, you'll notice that it does a great job of bringing back that blue into the lantern light but it sort of brightened up this area up top and over here. Well, the great thing about local adjustment layers is you can add as many of them as you want. So now that we've sort of set this basic tone for our photo, let's head up and add another local adjustment layer and we can take care of this bright area around our light trail. So let's add a new layer and let's set it to darken. And I'm actually just going to use my local adjustment gradient and I'm going to set the gradient about right here. And then I can, you know, rotate it to sort of line up with the light trail. And then I can just pull it up and, you know, I could probably work on the feathering a little bit here. Turn it around a little bit more. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to go up here and instead of the shape being gradient, I'm just gonna click reflected gradient and basically what that's going to do is it's going to reflect this gradient onto this side and it's going to darken the middle area of my shot. But if I head up into my masking options here, I can click invert. And now the darker areas on top and on bottom over here and my light trail area is still pretty well lit. And you can also play with where the reflected gradient is. We'll actually just feather these a bit more. And if I turn this on and off, you'll see it does a really good job of sort of drawing the viewer's attention into this light trail area and sort of subduing these brighter areas where the train is and these really bright lights over here. And say I wanna refine my mask a little bit, I sort of have this area where there's a line right there where the gradient is and this line right here, and it kinda looks unnatural that this area isn't dark. Well, I could grab my local adjustment brush here I could click on it or I could hit K on my keyboard. And now I can simply just paint in that local adjustment layer onto that specific area on my photo to really make it look more natural and more appealing. And I'm actually gonna go back into that first local adjustment layer that I added for the tonality. And I'm gonna go down into it and I'm just gonna pull back on the exposure a little bit more. Probably right about there. And to stay organized with local adjustment layers, you can simply double click the title and you can rename 
So I can set this one as tonality, and I can set this one as, I'll name it vignette. And now I can hide these, and if I add a new local adjustment layer, I can stay organized with these other ones, and if I ever need to come back and re-edit them, I know what layers are added onto my photo. So now that we've set the basic tonality for our shot, and we've sort of subdued this bright area around our subject here, the next local adjustment layer that I want to add, I want to deal with this light trail itself and the light that's hitting the railroad tracks underneath it. And to bring this little specific area to life, simply head into your styles here. And there's a great preset style called Magic Eye Fixer. And it's great for models' eyes when they need a little bit of life and a little bit of detail. But it's also great when you're just dealing with, you know, light. So it's going to increase your exposure and the contrast and give it a little bit of structure to add detail. And so if you just simply paint it on, you'll see that it does a lot to sort of make that area pop. And the great thing about local adjustment layers is that you can play with the opacity to blend it better. So if you do paint it on pretty strong, you can always go back and just, you know, edit that opacity control to make it blend better and seem more realistic. So I'm just going to play with the opacity to make it, you know, a little bit more realistic. I like that. And now if I turn this on and off, you'll see that it really did a lot to bring that light trail to life and sort of, you know, add interest into the railroad tracks here. So the next local adjustment layer I want to add, I actually want to deal with the noise in my shot. And as you can see, it was shot with a higher ISO, so there's a little bit of grain in my shot. Well, I can add a local adjustment layer. And if I head down to my noise option, I can turn that down a little bit. And I'll reset my exposure so that it's not darkening my photo. And I can simply just brush in the denoising onto my shot. And it will sort of remove that graininess from my photo. So if I turn this on and off, it does a great job with removing the graininess in my photo. And the last local adjustment layer I want to add onto my shot is I'm going to add a layer that deals with this sort of reddish orange tint around the photo. So if I go up and I'll add a new local adjustment layer, and I'm just going to head down to my saturation slider, and I'm going to pull that all the way back. And I'm actually going to pull back on the exposure as well. And I'm just going to paint this layer onto my shot to sort of tone down that, you know, reddish area in my photo. And the great thing about local adjustments is that you can always go back into the opacity and you can pull back on the layer. There we go. Now we've sort of subdued that reddish area on our shot all by using a local adjustment layer. So the last thing I want to do to my photo here is I'm just going to head up to my crop tool. And I'm just going to hold down shift and just sort of pull back on the crop here. Maybe about right there. And now I have a nice crop for our photo. And if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you'll see that we really stylize the shot all while using only local adjustment layers to stylize it. So that's how to fix and creatively enhance photos simply by using local adjustment layers. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more.